Salve Maria! Welcome to Maria Queen, the podcast of the Slaves of Our Lady. So today once again we have the pleasure of having with us Father Michael. Father Michael. Salve Maria, Brother John. And Brother Morgan, Brother Morgan Salve yeah. Maria to everyone. Michael. Yeah. Welcome everyone. So today, like like you said in the last podcast that we had with Father Michael, we promised that he was preparing a surprise for us. Well, I don't know when they release this podcast, whether it will be out or not already, but Father Michael has already been working uh, on uh, on a special course to Our Lady of Fatima. He's prepared a very long course which is going to be launched on the platform soon, unless by the time this podcast is out, it's already launched. Something specially about Our Lady of Fatima. And uh, we're here to talk about her. Why is Our Lady of Fatima so special? What is her role in our days? Because Brother Morgan will uh, agree with me that I think ever since we entered the heralds, ever since we met the heralds, one thing all of us know, the younger generations, is that the heralds and devotion to Our Lady of Fatima are two things that go together. Mm-hmm. We take the pilgrim statue of to of Our Lady of Fatima all over the world. We spread devotion to her. People always make this relation between the heralds and Fatima. But Father, why is this so? What is the special relation between heralds and Our Lady of Fatima? Well, I think it's because Our Lady, the presence of her apparitions is so important because the idea of Our Lady coming down from heaven. There have been several apparitions. Yes. Um, La Salette. Um, we have... The Lourdes, miraculous medal Lourdes. and lords and many others, yeah. and they kind of culminate. They arrive at their a- apex in Our Lady of Fatima, because her message was so powerful, so important for our days, and there's a, a an approval of the Church. No other apparition has so has so much support of the Catholic Church uh, as. We know that we know that all apparitions, they're only private. Exactly, they're not private, private devotions. Revelation. Private yeah. revelation. It's not the revelation of the gospel, for example, yeah. which is public. It's official. Official of the church. But all private revelations have mm, varying degrees of support of the Catholic Church. If there, if there's a diocesan approval, or if there's a general approval of the church, now Fatima has the greatest approval of all of the apparitions. And the message, not only is it so important for our world, it's also very universal. Interesting. Not only uh, are the apparitions, for example, there can be apparitions that are very important, but for a certain time period or for a certain amount of people. A certain place. certain for place. The, for example, the, the apparitions of Our Lady of, of good success that were for uh, Ecuador and e- Ecuador is uh, Sister Mariana de mm. Jesus Torres of course they're from me- our times as well yeah. but it's not as universal but there's many other apparitions that are not as universal as Our Lady of Fatima and Our Lady of Fatima she appeared also to many people uh, well to the three, three shepherd children. But there were many people but that many witnessed. people saw the miracle. Yeah. I guess that's the only, mir- the, only the last apparition miracle. where she, of course, Lutz, she proved the veracity of the apparition, the truthfulness of the apparition, through the miracles afterwards. But here, no, at the very apparition, at over 50,000 people saw the miracle of the sun, etc. And, and it was something that was so clear that no one could deny it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No one could deny it. People were there, it was raining, everything was soaking wet, and within a certain small period of the of the vision, during the sixth apparition in October, the thirteenth mm-hmm. of October, the sun came out of its place, ordinary place, and that this everyone saw, mm-hmm. and uh, they thought it was the end of the world. Then the sun went back up, maybe a symbol of the world of our days, the situation, the, the moral situation, the religious situation possibly speaking. But then, at the end, everything was dry. So, everyone saw the sun. Uh, no, and there were even 
pictures yeah. taken at the scene. Pictures published, taken. Published in the newspaper. And many yeah. people that were the atheists that converted. But this, it, was, it was evidence. You can't deny evidence. It's not. And also, the heralds of the gospel, we've had always the devotion to Our Lady because it's so united with the importance of a regeneration of the world. And that's one of our main exactly. charisms mm -hmm. is to restore uh, the devotion to Our Lady, to make this grow, the devotion to Our Lady, and also the message of Our Lady of Fatima. <laughs> it has a lot to do with our vocation. Yeah. That's something you see a lot in you know, the visits we do with the, with the statues of Our Lady of Fatima. Our founder, you know, he always said, always believed, always uh, witnessed that one of the most beautiful things in life is to see others receiving graces. <laughs> And how many times when we visit a family with a statue and everybody comes around and prays the rosary with their children, their relatives, their friends, people start crying, people change their life, they ask for a confession, they yeah. start praying the rosary daily with their family in the evening or something. Just because of a simple visit with the statue, it's almost like Our Lady appears to the family through the statue and speaks to each one's soul who, who's there. It's very... Yeah, it's, uh, it's really impressive when, when, when we see that. Uh, even people that haven't haven't been, when they go to a house where the persons received Our Lady, they say, well, "What happened here? Everything, the, I smell roses. Was it's different? Wow. Uh, everything's different here. What's happened in your house?" And then, oh no, Our Lady came to visit, and, and, and they say, "Our Lady came to visit," exactly because it's a statue mm -hmm. of Our Lady. Yeah. It's the immaculate heart. Of Our Lady of Fatima, because we know that Our Lady appeared. The first apparitions were she had her hands folded mm -hmm. and the rosary coming down from her hands. But in the sixth apparition, she appeared together with Saint Joseph, the Holy, uh, the, the uh, our, our Lord Jesus Christ as well, and she appeared with her immaculate heart, <laughs> right, appearing exactly. So, and that's the statue that Monsieur Jean wanted to visit the homes mm -hmm. as a sign of Our Lady of Fatima. And that she herself visiting. was visiting. In fact, Father, uh, I remember a case in India uh, a few years back where our brothers had been invited, a lady who was dying in a hospital who was friendly to the heralds. They had asked the brothers if they could go pray for her. And of course they agreed, an act of mercy. But then one of the brothers, as they were leaving, said, why don't we take the statue with us? But then normally you take the statue to houses, etc. But you don't take the statue unless the person asks for it specifically. Yeah. And in this case, this lady had just asked there to go and pray for her. Nobody had asked for the... But he felt an inspiration of grace and said, no, let's take the statue with us. Mm. That was okay. Mm. Let's see. We have, let's, we're going to do it good to her. Let's go. So we take the statue. And when they get there, the lady is super touched. She cries. She receives graces, etc. And then afterwards, the family members... And the lady passed away soon. She received a final grace, she passed away. But afterwards, her family members commented that it's incredible because since this morning, she has been telling us, our lady's going to come visit me to the evening. Uh -huh. But then nobody knew, not even the ones who are going to. And they took the statue of our lady. And in fact, that idea that she had in her head, somehow a grace had mentioned to her, that our lady was going to visit her. She did visit that day. But then again, you see what grace mentioned as our lady was a statue. For people, when the pilgrim statue enters a house, it's as though Our Lady has visited. Yes. Mm -hmm. And we really witness conversions, witness oh, graces, yeah. families who come yeah. together. And it's really impressive because one, one, one person might say, well, I already have a statue of Our Lady in my home. I already prayed to Our Lady. Why, some, why is this something so special? But Our Lady, even though people know that it's a statue, it's not... Our Lady, exactly in person, mm -hmm. Our Lady makes herself present there, and it it's a way that she can, as if to say, visit the person, <laughs> and make the person, make the person, make the family, make the many times families invite all their friends and everything. It's really mm -hmm. beautiful. They sing songs to Our Lady, and it's something very special, because in fact, Our Lady makes her presence felt. And I think this has something to do with the mission of Our Lady coming to Fatima. Why did Our Lady come to Fatima? She told the three three shepherd children these many 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 secrets, many many things. They asked for many things, but then mm -hmm. 
she left other things secret for later times. Yeah. But Our Lady wanted, through them, since they were children, mm -hmm. they would not be able to make something up. No. They would not be able to, yeah. if someone would uh, cross-examine them, there'd be no way for them to... Impossible. Uh, to do something so well done, impossible. Yeah. So it, to make it clear that it was her. To the proof, or the proof of the, the authenticity. Proof, the authenticity. Which is the same thing she did in Lord with uh, yeah. St. Bernadette. And so many times. She said, what is so what is times. my name? And she find, and St. Bernadette says, I am the Immaculate Conception. She didn't know what those she words meant. She didn't know what those words meant. Exactly. And that was the greatest sign that Our Lady gave that it was. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and so, so Our Lady comes as a mother telling humanity that it's gone off the path, off the path of sanctity. She talked that about so many people that were falling into sin, that were putting aside our Lord Jesus Christ, that were not even taking care of anything of their religious life, living an atheistic life, and it, how it was so important for those little shepherd children to pray for poor sinners. Exactly. They would fall into hell, she said, uh, because there was no one to pray for them. And Our Lady did that in order to transform humanity mm -hmm. through three shepherd children, in an, in six apparitions in in Portugal in a small town, not even in the town, uh, in Portugal, uh, where during it was during the First World War, and Portugal was still not it didn't didn't enter the First World War, so Our Lady kind of took advantage of this, and through them sent a message of conversion, of praying the rosary, like she's always yeah. said in so many apparitions, mm -hmm. a message of conversion, and also the message of what can happen with the world, which uh, we're seeing a lot yeah. nowadays. The sins, uh, the, the, sins the, 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 the destruction of so many things, Mm -hmm. uh, because people, we can't say that the world is converted. 1917, uh, Our Lady complained yeah. about the sins of humanity in 1917. Mm -hmm. 2023, there's no comparison in how much, how much worse things have become. Much, much. Oh my God, much, but, much, yeah. much. but also Our Lady talked about something very important and it, sometimes it gets brushed aside and it's the triumph yeah. of mm -hmm. the Immaculate Heart of Mary. And she said, in the end, she says, many things will happen. So for mm -hmm. her to say, in the end, that means lots yeah. of things are going to happen before that. Uh, exactly. Even though it may not be far off in time, but many times she, she we know that she was seeing our, our world of today. Exactly. And maybe it'll even, even uh, further, get worse. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We don't know how long Our Lady is going to uh, until her triumph comes exactly she's going to uh, not intervene let's say right and our lady talked about this triumph now to triumph is not just to win because to win as well a little bit better than the other no a tr triumph is to be so much more powerful much more than the other side then uh, that uh, it's something that's Really impressive. It has to be something more than anything that came before in history. St. Louis de Montfort mm -hmm. talks about exactly. the reign of Mary. So the reign of Mary can't be for 10 years. Or exactly. It has to be something really uh, impressive. It's a historic where, era. Which is where kind of... the church, where the Holy Spirit, where it's Our like Lady are going finale. to reign in, his, in, a, in a most impressive way. And that's why there's so much grace linked to the devotion to Our Lady of Fatima. <laughs> In fact, Father, you remember that Monsieur Jean, he once commented that triumph will be so great in the reign of Mary, of Our Lady, that in the end of the world, when the in the last times, which is mentioned, which I mentioned in the Apocalypse, when once again sin reigns and our Lord has to come, see the Book of Revelation, the Book so, of Revelations, yeah. exactly. It will be so, so, so great the triumph you are going to have in the reign of Mary, which is coming soon. That on the last day, when the Antichrist has come, when things look like the devil has the upper hand, on that night, 
and the few Catholics, the few faithful who are still in the world are going to get together and sing a Magnificat, saying, well, the devil seems like he's got the half a hand. But so great was the glory we gave to God in the reign of Mary that everything else is something despisable. Yeah. So great the is going to be a triumph. We are going to, we are going to crush not only the what the devil did in the past, but even what he's going to do in the future is going to be despisable compared to the glory our Lady is going to have very soon. Mm -hmm. Exactly, and yeah. it's also the triumph that our Lord, because how 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 did our Lord Jesus Christ is God? Did he prophesy this? Did he talk about the coming? Well, he talked about the coming, the the reign of uh, the, reign of, God, God. the okay. reign of God is near, the kingdom, of heaven. kingdom of heaven. But he talks about this in the Our Father. Exactly. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Now, how is the will of God done in heaven? It's absolutely totally. Uh, most uh, impressively by all the angels and saints that are vying to see who can uh, do the, the, most the will of God the best and the, with the most enthusiasm. So mm -hmm. it's something that will be impressive. Those that, who will be able to see it and we <laughs> pray that we, we can see this reign exactly. of Mary because we see a, a world of today that's Far from being the reign of Mary, yeah. But we already see graces, and many times apropos, the visit of the statue mm -hmm. of Our Lady, the consecration Our Lady courses, Fatima, consecration the consecration courses. courses. Father, so many people. Have, I don't know if you know this, Father Brother uh -huh. Morgan, but ever since we have started doing the consecration courses online, this started, I believe, in two thousand and twenty or twenty-one. It started first in Portuguese, then we started doing it in Spanish, and now we're in English as well. In these last two or three years. We have already crossed one million people who did the consecration to Our Lady, and that's yeah. really impressive. Oh, that's and that's something in today's world, with the with the amount of sin, with the amount of things that are wrong in this world, with the corruption in today's world, one million people giving themselves as slaves of as slaves of Jesus through the hands of Mary. That's something unimaginable. That, yeah. that seems to be a sign that Our Lady is already working exactly with putting the seeds. And it's or a, something that's it's, going to grow and yeah. it's a life changing experience that the the people are, yes. are having. I mean, they're really changing their lives completely. No, it's so really, many people yeah. have sent their yeah. testimonies. What they get from the consecration courses are that's, impressive. That's really touching because yeah. uh, people that that have found their a uh, pathway mm -hmm. to God, to to Our Lady. That what they say is really impressive, and one well, could never imagine. Recently, this week, uh, somebody you know was speaking. He was approached approached the hills and and wanted to say thank you because he said before you came to my house, you visited with Our Lady, and I. He said after that day, I completely changed. I stopped going to parties. I stopped doing this. I stopped doing that. Now my family is more united. My my kids are are frequenting the sacraments, and he was just so thankful because. You know, all because of a little 15-minute visit yeah. from mm -hmm. Our Lady, teaching yeah. them about the consecration, to pray the rosary. And I think it's something very interesting. We were talking before how Our Lady appeared as a mother to humanity. Mm -hmm. And she showed the problems of the present time, 1970. And she showed the problems that were, that were to come upon humanity if they did not convert. And she talked about her triumph. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But... As a perfect mother, she also showed us the way to reach that triumph. And many times people come and they say, well, what, what do you suggest that I do to change? Or what do you suggest because I want my family to be united. I want my kids to live holy lives and this and that. I myself want to obtain greater perfection, greater union with God. And Our Lady said very simply, she said, pray the rosary. Yeah. Offer up little sufferings, little sacrifices for the conversion of sinners. Mm -hmm. And so she, she showed us the way as a perfect mother. And it's not that she told us to do big sacrifice. No, simply the rosary, start with praying the rosary. The rosary. Exactly. And, and you see the people that follow that advice of Our Lady, the fruits are almost immediate. They're, they're, the next day you're already seeing many, the fruits many times, many of, times, of the yeah. graces that Our Lady starts bestowing, starts giving to those who follow 
her motherly advice. In, in his book, The Secret of the Rosary, St. Louis de Montfort says, uh, narrates the case of a lady he knew, of somebody who, she was a very, uh, very, uh, very radical in following uh, the religious life. So she was a lay, lay, a lay woman, but she used to lead a life more austere than many religious. So she would wear a hair shirt, she would uh, fast without food, she would all sort of heavy penances. And once at a confession, the confessor asked her to pray a rosary as the, as a penance for her sins. Mm -hmm. And he counseled her to pray many rosaries, continually start praying the rosaries. But then she was praying all the psalms, she was doing much more. Praying the rosary was something despisable for her. So she didn't take his advice, but then she was obliged to pray that one rosary as a penance. She had to, she had to do that, but mm -hmm. after that, she didn't pray anything else. And uh, after her death, uh, she had this following vision that God, she swallowed Jesus Christ with an angel before him, holding a pair of medieval scales. The typical scales that you see with, you put some weight over here, you put something over there, you see which is higher, which is heavier. And on one side, he put all the penances, all the sacrifices, everything holy that she had done in her whole life. Mm. And the scale went down. The other side was empty. Then our Lord started putting the, her sins, her miseries, in spite of being a very holy person. The Bible says a just man sins seven times a day. Right. And she had her miseries. She had her like pride, things. among other things. Yeah. And then, in spite of everything she did, her miseries were even stronger. And she saw almost in despair that her miseries outweighed her virtues. Mm. And she was lost. She didn't know what to do. Then Our Lady appeared there and put one rosary on the good side. That one rosary she had prayed in her life. That was enough to destroy the this balance, put it down again, save her. Mm -hmm. yes. Of course, that one rosary she prayed, as she was very faithful, she prayed very well. She prayed with a lot of attention. But one rosary well prayed was stronger than everything else that she had done. Yes. Imagine, because it's, that's our Lord. Our Lord uh, can't resist anyone who does anyone who does veneration to his mother. Mm -hmm. Whatever else you do for him is one thing, but when he sees that you love Our Lady as you ought to, when you do to her what she asks you to do, our Lord is, so to speak, he melts before you. He can't, he can't yeah, exactly. resist that. So, the rosary. It's a pity though that many people today have the same problem. They find the rosary as something repetitive, something something without any grace because you're saying the same thing over and over again. But what what would you recommend to such people, Father? Those who complain that rosary is repetitive. Well, that they go to their mother and see if she doesn't like it, that they say, Mother, I love you. Or Mom, I love you. <laughs> over and over. Does, or say it over and over again. Or don't say it and see what happens. No. Of course, her lady's a mother. She's the most loving of mothers. But being a mother, she's also very sensitive to our simple prayers. Yeah. Imagine if the child goes up and uh, recites verses of a great theologian to show how a mother is theologically very important. <laughs> uh, no, it's, that's not what yeah. is going to move the mother so much. Right. And one time, Monsieur Jean, our founder, he was uh, asked by, on television actually, uh, why Our Lady likes so much the Hail Mary, because something so simple, so something, and that's what he said. He said, it's the way that we have, that Our Lady wants us to go to her mm -hmm. and say, Mother, I love you. <laughs> Mom, I love you. So, uh, if we do that so many times a day, that's going to give what's the most important is love. Our Lady wants love. Mm -hmm. Our Lady doesn't want a lot of words. Yeah. Our Lady doesn't want uh, discussion about what's... Um, no, she wants love. Mm -hmm. And the rosary is a simple way where, like Brother Morgan was saying, it's anyone... Mm -hmm. can say a rosary at any time, basically. Even if you don't uh, have a rosary in, at hand for some reason, mm -hmm. you can you can pray it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think that's a question of, course, of, 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 of starting. Once of you course. start, yeah. uh, the thing is with the prayer life, once you start praying, the more you want to pray and the more yes. you... Uh, Monsieur Jean always said that at least if, if you're not able to pray at least five decades, mm -hmm. at least pray 
One decade. Ten Hail Marys. Ten Hail Marys. Exactly. See that in two minutes. Yeah. Exactly. But never go back on what you've already started praying. Mm -hmm. Always going forward. Then try to, uh, little by little, go to two decades until you can pray the whole rosary. <laughs> All the mysteries of the rosary. He gave, all the time. mysteries of the rosary. Yeah. He gave the example of the escalator, like in a you know the shopping mall. You have to go. You imagine the spiritual life. You're going up the down escalator. So if you stop going up, you're gonna start going down. So you always have That's to what happens. progress and never yeah. start turning back. And the thing is, of course, sometimes it is a little tiresome. It's it is repetitive sometimes. But that's exactly the way that we are able to show our love to Our Lady. How many times do do people watch the same commercial or the same TV show over and over, and it's repetitive, but they do it, or listen to the same music over and over and over and over and or over, they, and don't ever get tired of it? Or they have the same type of breakfast every day or whatever, <laughs> right? Yeah, you know, it's part but, of life. There's but things that also, are repetitive. when one prays the rosary. Since it is the same prayer, the the church authorizes that one meditate In fact, the on the mystery. It's yes, uh, recommended exactly yeah. exactly that we meditate on on the mysteries of the rosary. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we have the agony in, in the garden. We have uh, the resurrection of our Lord, and there's so many important insights yeah. that we can learn with each. Mm -hmm. Uh, the, the transformation of the water into wine, e everything yeah. in the life of our Lord Jesus Christ. And also if we apply it to what we know, even by mystics, about the life of Our Lady, yeah. we can learn so much. The lessons are infinite, you know. Exactly. Yeah. We, we can learn everything. Yeah. Our Lady is not just to be admired. She's to be imitated. Yeah. We, we should... Try to imitate Our Lady in her virtues, in her in her love for her sons, for mm -hmm. her children. So, and this is well, yeah. how we can, that's another way that what she talked about. Whenever she would appear in, a, in Fatima, but also in the other apparitions, when she saw that the seers or, would do something good for others, they always always receive special rewards of mm. her grace. No, Father, this what he said, at least not just to be loved, but to be imitated. We have to serve her. Dr. Prini once gave an example, which is quite strong, a metaphor, but that it applies entirely to our days. He says there are people whose devotion to Our Lady is sort of like tourism. They want to go to somewhere, see something beautiful, they like to admire it, but as long as it's pleasing them. Mm. So he said, these people deep inside their heart, unfortunately, many times they're evil, they're bad. Because the true devotion to Our Lady takes you closer to Our Lady. They want you to change lives. He gave the example. So a person like this would be capable, he said, of, if possible, if he could kill Our Lady and then leave her, leave her body somewhere so he could admire the beautiful body every day, he would do that. So deep inside, he doesn't want to go close to Our Lady, to love her, to serve her. Our Lady is something or somebody who pleases me. So if, she, if I can look at her, she's beautiful. I can look at her the whole day. If I kill her, leave her over there, I'll do that. But I don't want to serve oh, her. Sorry. Unfortunately, that does happen. Yeah. And because already at Fatima, she asked for conversion. Nowadays, people, eh, they go to a grocery store. They're going to go to the grocery store that most serves them. Yeah. They're going to go to the bank that most serves them, which is understandable Talking in human you, things. Exactly, material things, that's normal. But in spiritual things... In supernatural things, there's only one place. Not only there is there only one place to go. Like St. Peter said, where are we going to go, Lord? Only you have words of eternal life. Exactly. Mm -hmm. But not only that, because that might leave a place, well, maybe if there were a, another place to go, yeah. then we could go there. No. The thing is that God is all perfect, all wonderful. Our Lady is worthy of all our service of mm -hmm. all our love of everything that we can do and, he, and even if we give our lives entirely for the service of our lady that's not going to be sufficient in fact yeah. to be worthy of her we're unworthy because of original sin because of our faults like the yeah. The the saint that uh, well the 
Yeah, Saint Louis Mont. The lady, the, story. the story yeah. of the the lady that that prayed one rosary. Yeah. None of us are able to conquer heaven by our efforts or our own. Yeah. Our we need, mm. we need the help of Our Lady. Of course, yeah. we need the help because she is the one who intercedes, and she is alone. It's all pleasing to God. Everything in her is pleasing to God. And she's she's our mother. Exactly. She's willing to mm-hmm. listen to everything that we can ask her. She came down from heaven Anything. just to help us. She saw mankind was going on the wrong path. She came down all the way just to tell us how to, how to sort ourselves out. Exactly. How to fix humanity, so to speak. And so she appeared in Fatima. Yeah. The, she did all the, the miracle of the sun. Then she also uh, appeared many times afterwards to Sister Lucy, to Saint Jacinta. Uh, why? Because our Lord, uh, our Lord was, of course, being uh, offended, but she wanted the conversion of mm-hmm. sinners. She wanted yeah. them to be witnesses to what she had said, to what she wanted. Later, uh, Our Lady asked for the first Saturday devotion. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Say, uh, something very, uh, so important, mm-hmm. what Our Lady gave to us in Fatima. And uh, Father, if you, can, if you can mention briefly the first Saturday devotion, because I'm sure there are many people who are watching us who don't have a very good idea about what it is. If you can explain, uh, explain what, what, in what exactly this co- devotion consists. Well, well, and the promises that Our Lady made to those who yeah. who participate in that. No, uh, our, well, Our Lady, she asks for things that are simple, yeah. generally, because Our Lady, uh, she knows that we're very weak, we're, mm-hmm. we're weak, weak children, and weak, uh, we have no possibility of confronting this world. So. So she, when she asked for something, she asked for something very simple. So she asked for the five first Saturdays. Five first Saturdays are, what 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 does it consist of? Five consecutive first, Saturday of first Saturday of each month. Mm-hmm. So each month, the first Saturday of that month, yeah. five consecutive Saturdays, uh, first Saturdays, it, where there's... The person makes 15 minutes of meditation, meditating about one of the mysteries of the rosary. And you make 24 hours a day, 15 minutes. Is exactly. Nothing, nothing. It's nothing. 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 Uh, and it's actually very, it's yeah. a wonder. It's yeah. wonderful. <laughs> yeah, to be able sure. to, uh, <laughs> Exactly. Yeah. Uh, also, the rosary is prayed on the first Saturday, but then the person also has to make, make a confession. Confession within the eight days before or after gotcha. that, and also receive the Holy Communion on that first Saturday. And offer it in... Uh... Uh, yes, in, in union with the, the Holy Father, and also for the, in, the, for the intention of the Holy Father. And in reparation and for... And in reparation for the sins that are committed against the Sacred Heart, Heart of Jesus and the Immaculate Heart, Heart of Mary. Mary. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, and I'll be promised doing that five times this devotion do it five times in your life that's it just five saturdays and what she promises something unbelievable there's no proportion between what she offers mm-hmm. and what she asks mm-hmm. because father she she promised that those who do this at the moment of their death she would give all the grace necessary for their salvation mm-hmm. So we are on this earth. I mean, man was created. That's the most important thing yeah. that exists. I can yeah, live salvation. for 500 years, but then I can live for three days. But then my whole life is depending on my salvation because I'm going to spend all eternity afterwards. Mm-hmm. And that's going to depend on my life over here. Mm-hmm. And she promised that she will help sort things out. Do this once. I mean, you almost feel that people who are condemned after everything are because they want to. The church has given us, already has well, given us. That's what uh, the church teaches. Yeah. That the person goes to uh, goes to hell, not because of any other reason, except that the person really knew what they were doing. Yeah. They wanted to hmm. to forsake asking pardon. Yeah. They didn't I mean, you want have to, to be re- very, very uh, uh, 
aver uh, have an aversion for yeah, God yeah. Mm -hmm. in order not to ask yeah. for pardon at the very last moment. Because at the very last moment, I mean, many mystics talk about this, that the person has a clear notion of mm -hmm. what so, they've yeah, done exactly. and what they've not done, yeah. what they've omitted, and God gives the last chance to ask pardon. That's, that's all that's needed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. ask, yeah. ask for forgiveness but with a true uh, sincere uh, repentance but that's something that should be fl overflowing yeah. from uh, a, a true son of Our Lady a true daughter of Our Lady no, the problem no. is more often than not the person lives his whole life telling no to our God knowing, telling no to Our Lady they rejecting get, the chances for con conversion so much so that when it, it just requires one moment before death to convert, when that moment comes, they don't. Because they have 70 years of know. vice behind them, 80 years of vice, where they've been telling no, 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 no. And then they're not trying oh, to say one, yes one, anymore. One of the apparitions uh, of Our Lady in Fatima, Our Lady opened up the, the earth mm -hmm. and in a vision, right, they all the little children, the shepherd children saw a yeah. vision of hell, mm -hmm. and why did Our Lady show that to them, to them, to, to make them scared? No, for them to see what what, yeah, life, life what happened. Life is serious. Yes, life is serious, and so that they could pray for, for sinners, so that people don't fall there, mm -hmm. don't don't fall into hell, because Our Lady want that's what Our Lady wants. Yeah. Everyone. She safe. wants everyone to go to heaven. And all we need to do is hold on to her mantle, yeah. or grab on to her rosary, exactly. uh, pray. To and she wants to convert. She's giving you a chance. Tell yes, yes, I want to. Please exactly. help me. In fact, Father, the Church teaches us that when man meditates on the four last things which, falls, which comes to us, death, judgment, heaven, and hell, the four last things in man's life, if you think about it, if you meditate on this, you're incapable of losing your soul. Salvation is guaranteed. But then again, that's what Ali did that to the children. She showed them hell. She gave them a meditation on hell to, so to speak, make sure that they would feel such a horror that they would go to heaven for sure. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, today's world, they don't like, we don't like to talk about these things. We don't like to talk about, we like to imagine that we're going to live here forever. And that is why people have the, so to speak, courage to out, not think about Our Lady, to re re refuse the church, to refuse sacraments, because they live as though they're going to never die. Mm -hmm. Or no. that life ends with death, that you're going to go back to dust and that's it. There's nothing after but death. But if we look at the life of our Lord Jesus Christ, yeah. Our Lady, mm -hmm. the saints, yeah, exactly. I mean, all the saints lived for, for the heaven. next life. For him. Yeah. All of them. Because otherwise they wouldn't. No, uh, if not, uh, life is unexplainable. Because why? Why are we here to suffer and to suffer? If there's nothing after, mm -hmm. then it's 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 unexplainable. Uh -huh. It's it would almost be like unexplainable, God is unjust. For example, for a lady in Fatima to come down, just so the shepherd children could live a, <laughs> a tranquil life yeah. and uh, eat well, sleep well. No, no, no. Our Lady, mm -hmm. it's a message of conversion and salvation, and that's what Our Lady. Always, always does. And Fatima is probably the prime example. Yeah. Why? Because we're in a situation in the world where uh, maybe evil is at an, at an apex, apex. Yeah. that it's never been before, at least uh, materially speaking, at least uh, apparently. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But also good... When in another age has Our Lady come so much yeah. with so much uh, strength? Or when has she given such graces to those who ask her help? We were talking about, you know, at the last moments of death, but the graces that Our Lady is giving today to the consecration, to the devotion to her, to praying the rosary, it's, it's almost an immediate conversion that people are having. It's not yeah. at the last moment that she's yeah. just giving graces. They're already obtaining happiness here on earth. Something that maybe uh, a person might have in other times had to go to the desert and uh, make I mean, penance. Uh, yeah, public penance during uh, God knows how I don't know, to yeah. receive this amount of graces yeah. as if to say, mm -hmm. 
and sometimes with just no i don't know maybe a, maybe a a consecration course but or maybe the person goes into a church yeah. and they and they remember they pray to our lady and or they 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 receive the statue visit mm -hmm. of our lady you never know it's so much well, intercession of our lady that's yeah. It reminds me of father of a case which happened here in Brazil of a lady. She afterwards, she herself told us that she was in despair. Her life, she felt everything was going wrong and she decided to commit suicide. So, of course, in Brazil it's very common. I think uh, things are different in different parts of the world. But in Brazil, many times, very often, the postman, when he brings a letter, he slips it under the door. And this lady, as she is, decided to take her own life she was walking when she slips on something and falls. And why? The postman had slipped an envelope under the door and she slipped on that. But she's going to take her life in a few moments. But then again, human nature, she wanted to see what the last letter was before she killed herself. She opens it. Inside was a poster of Our Lady of Fatima, which she received which from one of the mailings that the Heralds had done. She broke down, she cried. Of course, she didn't take her own life. And she saved her soul with that. Imagine, there would be one person who would be, most story. probably, would be going to hell for all eternity. She was going to kill herself. She didn't want to receive God's help. And then, Our Lady, so to speak, grabbed her, snatched her, saved her, almost forcefully. I mean, uh, that was something incredible. It was like, like St. Paul. He was going to do something. God intervenes. Make sure that the person converts. Well, well there's one, one thing that uh, Monsignor, Monsignor Jean, our founder, he talked about on the habit of the heralds that we have a little part of the 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 chain that mm -hmm. is symbol symbolic of uh, the slavery of love to Our Lady, yeah. mm -hmm. and it and it comes down. And he said, "No, this is where Our Lady can grab onto if we go <laughs> on in a wrong direction, right?" Yeah. Uh -huh. Our Lady always has always wonderful has a solution. ways. Yeah. Always has to a solution. always pull us. Pull us along by the yeah. ear or by the hair or or whatever. You know, there's uh, the, right? the fact of the life of uh, one one person who went to confess to <clears throat> Saint Ju uh, Saint John Saint John Marie de Vianney, 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 the Curie yes. and she was in despair. She came to him crying, crying, oh, because uh, I don't know what to do because my husband uh, the other day he committed suicide. He jumped off a bridge. And well, I'm I'm worried about his salvation. Mr. Can you at least pray for him? In Saint John, uh, the Saint Cure of the Arts, you say in English, right? The Saint Cure of Arts, he he consoled her, calmed her down. He said, and he had a gift to attend confessions. His lines for confessions. Sometimes he would attend confessions twenty four hours, or uh, I don't know when he had time when he got a spare, some spare in, time in, to eat. In or, ours, <laughs> in ours, there's a, a little. A disc yeah. where they show the hours of his normal day. Okay. And there was like one or two hours to sleep at night. Wow. Oh my God. <laughs> Only that. Because and then begin the confessions. Daily, there was more time for confessions than any than than, anything than else. the rest of the day. More than half the day yeah. was always confessions. And so he, he told her, he said, no. He said, because from the time that your husband jumped from the bridge to when he landed at the bottom, there was a space of time. And do you remember that occasion when he left a flower at the statue, the base of the statue of Our Lady? Because this man did not have faith. But no, he didn't have faith, but he did it, you know, kind of and just like... One day he received one grace to give a flower to a Our Lady. That's the only act of piety which he had done, nothing else. The only act. Not even a rosary. Mm -hmm. yeah. Not even a rosary, just a flower. Mm -hmm. You know? And because of that act of kind of, not even say if you would say love, but that act that he did to Our Lady in honor of Our Lady, Our Lady gave him a grace of conversion, of perfect contrition, and he had saved his soul, and he, he was in purgatory. John, uh, the cure of your saw that he was in purgatory. And his wife was, oh, thank you so much. She was, But this is the power of yeah. Our Lady. She has the solution yes, for exactly. all of us, for each and every person who at least in some point of their life does something. Now imagine those who pray the rosary every day, who do, who serve her, try to serve her at least, have the desire to serve her. How much more she's going to give graces to these people? Yes. Well, you know? many saints have said that they 
they think, they thought that if a person prays the rosary for at least five decades, mm. uh, they could pray the whole rosary, but five decades every day, there's no way they're not going to save their souls. Oh, yeah. Imagine. Yeah. Imagine that. Mm -hmm. No, and St. Um, Saint Alfonso Ligori, he says, I don't know if it's in his book, The Glories of Mary, or in another book, but he says, whenever we have a temptation and we pray to Our Lady, it is impossible that we commit a mortal sin. She doesn't permit. Mm -hmm. When we, we're in the middle of a temptation, we're the, we make a prayer to Our Lady, even a quick ejaculation to Our Lady, it's a, you can have certainty that you did not commit a mortal sin. St. Alfonso Ligori, who is That's a, a great doctor in the church, the church and one of the greatest moralists yeah. of all times, he's the one who says this. Yeah. So that's the power of intercession that Our Lady has uh, before her divine Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Well, I think what we can take from all, especially for all those who are watching us as well, is that's what you just said, because Our Lady wants to save us. God wants to save us much more than we want to be saved. He has made Our Lady His Blessed Mother so that He could save us easier, so that we have, besides Him directly, we have a mother to go to Him. It's almost criminal on our part, it is criminal on our part, not to receive this God stretching out His hand, Our Lady stretching out Her hand. So Father, let's, we'll ask you if you can, in your masses in the, in the next few days, always pray for us and also for all those who are watching us so that mm -hmm. we always maintain this faith and this confidence in Our Lady, no matter how things are, no matter how our spiritual life is, no matter how bad the situation in the world seems to be, we have to act, of course. But above all, we need to have this confidence that Our Lady is going to is going to sort things out. Somehow, if we have faith in her, if we have confidence in her, things are going to work out. Mm -hmm. if, you, if you allow me, Brother John, I know I'm probably breaking the rules because you know, normally you ask all of the questions. <laughs> but if I could finish with, you know, one final question for Father Michael, if he'll allow me <laughs> to put him on the spot. Uh, I'd see, like to, see. I don't know if you, if you, <laughs> if you authorize. <laughs> of course, I don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> but um, Father Michael, I don't know, we've, we've talked about a lot of, a lot about even, you know, the topic was Our Lady of Fatima. We ended up talking a lot about devotion to Our Lady, the Rosary. But I don't know if you could maybe finish. What is the, you know, the most important message, you know, for us today that Our Lady brought in Fatima? Or what advice would Our Lady give today? What, what does she want us to put in practice today? Because Fatima was over 100 years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we see it's very still relevant today, much more maybe than a hundred years ago. Mm -hmm. So what was the most important aspect, the mo most important message? Is mm -hmm. it maybe the devotion to our rosary or is it something else? Well, I think the, that we go a little bit in that line because the most important thing that any one of us can do is in order to save others, we need to save ourselves. <laughs> we need to be uh, more devoted to Our Lady. So Our Lady came to show her love. So the most important message probably hmm. would be that this is your mother. I'm your mother who's coming to give my love for you and for humanity. And all I want back is love. Now, how can we manifest this love? By praying, by praying the rosary, but also by growing in devo devotion to Our Lady, to by putting in her our trust in all the circumstances of our life and every difficulty that we have, we have recourse to her. We ask her help. We do everything to live mm -hmm. according to what Our Lady would like of us. Mm -hmm. We can imagine, what, how would Our Lady like that I'd be doing this? Or how would Our Lady like that I'd be doing that? It's to be living in, in consonance with Our Lady. Mm -hmm. And once we live in consonance with Our Lady, we're going to start to understand what Our Lady, what the love that she has, not only for us, but for all of her other children mm -hmm. over the earth, mm -hmm. over the face of the earth. And we're going to start to have a desire to also bring all those other children Beautiful. into the heart of Our Lady. 
Mm-hmm. How? By spreading the message of Our Lady, by spreading the ne- message of Our, Our Lady of Fatima, mm-hmm. by helping them also to come closer to Our Lady, to grow in devotion to Our Lady, with those that we enter into contact with, if we don't even know they exist. But we can pray for them because mm-hmm. we know that Our Lady knows. And that's the way we can console the heart of Our Lady because when she appeared in Fatima, or at least in the statue, not mm-hmm. in the sixth yeah, apparition, course. but also in the statue that was put, there's a crown of thorns like was on the head of Our Lord around the heart of Our Lady. And that represents all of the the sins that are committed that, against Our Lady. That pierced And we can... We can rep, uh, we can make reparation for these sins not only in the first Saturdays, mm-hmm. but in any act that we do each day. Every day. Every day we can we can make small sacrifices. We can pray an extra prayer. We can uh, do an act of charity to someone. Mm-hmm. We can do all sorts of things. Our Lord on and, the Our Lord on the cross, you know, said. Uh, to all of humanity, here's my mother, now she is yours. And in Fatima, Our Lady appears and says herself, I am your mother. Yeah, exactly. And she assumes that role as not just humanity in general, but as each, as our own mother, each person, everybody's mother. Exactly. And yeah. it's for us to to have faith in that, to believe in that, and mm-hmm. to really live according to that relationship of mother and child, mother, son, mother, daughter. Exactly. Mm-hmm. If you look at it, the most important message of Fatima is not what she said. It's the fact that she came to us as our mother. Mm-hmm. It's what she did. It's what she revealed to us by mm-hmm. her acts, by coming back to us during months, by promising us things for the future. She's there for us. She's our mother. Exactly. Mm-hmm. That's beautiful, Father. So, Father, it's about time. Can you give us a blessing now for us too? And to, to you level. and to everyone that's watching us. The Lord be with you. And And with your spirit. spirit. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come upon you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen. Salve Salve Maria. 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 If you like this video, press the like button and leave a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and activate the notification bell so you won't miss any of our videos.